Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to upgrade or add additional desktop RAM on your HP desktop. Here I have the HP Pavilion desktop. The model is TP01-2234. Just going to give you a brief description. The specs is running on an AMD Ryzen the seventh generation 16 gigs of ram one terabyte nvme m.2 solid state is running on the amd radeon graphics card meaning that it runs off from the processor the cpu it doesn't have external graphics card and this is the wi-fi slash bluetooth running on windows 11 and that is the display the look on on, on a desktop in the front of it power button, USB slots. There is no DVD slots here or the CD slot on the desktop. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, kind of walk you through in, in the back here. At the very top, you can see the audio jacks, display port, sorry, the display um, ports, which is the VGA and HDMI. They are not display port. They're just telling you them telling you you have two choices in fact you can have two display dual monitor in this computer you can plug one in the VGA the second to your TV HDMI or to a secondary monitor HDMI you would have dual monitor display USB this is the Wi-Fi for the mouse and keyboard there's no graphics card here and the power supply is all the way at the bottom all right, so I'm gonna flip the computer where this is the side panel, as you can see here. I'm gonna turn it to the left, lay it down, and get yourself a flat head screwdriver. So we'll be removing, unscrewing this screw here. You can't remove the screw, but I'm just going to make it loose so you know that it is ready to slide. I'm gonna slide this to the left. So just kind of slide it and you can remove the side cover. Here you can see the internal part of the desktop. And let's take a closer look here. You have one RAM and the secondary RAM slot is available. Now I know it's kind of hard for you to look into it, but let's see which angle. Okay, maybe this angle you can see it a lot better. Now that is a 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. You can add additional 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM here as well. So you can make it up to 32. But first of all, what you need to do is to make sure you open up the clipper, the white clipper right here. You want to push it down. That means there's an open position. Push it down on the other side. You have two open position. Now you want to have the RAM, have the RAM, make sure that slot that the RAM in the center, there's a little gap, make sure the gap is matched to the RAM slot. You need to turn it around if you're holding it on the wrong side of it. Okay, once you have them installed, and what you want to do is you want to press it down on both sides, okay? So press it down on both sides, left and right. Same pressure. And you can hear that the clipper would clip back onto it. So the both side clipper clips on and lock the RAM in. Now obviously if you remove this, it's a lot easier for you to install the RAM. But I'm just gonna be lazy and skip this part not to do it. Um, I can do it very comfortably by just doing it like so but because I want to show it to you from the camera angle that you can see it I need to hold it at one side but you can definitely do it without removing this piece right here so once you have done with that process you are pretty much all done because the RAM does not need any configuration you can just go uh, straight start using for having 16 gigabytes of um, sorry the 32 gigabytes of RAM Again, uh, if you're not sure where to buy the parts from, uh, please check the link down in the description below. I'm 
happily link it the affiliate link to amazon where you can buy the desktop ddr4 ram directly from them okay i hope this process is this video is helpful to you and if you do find the video is helpful please go ahead and smash the like button for me i uh, appreciate you for liking that i'm just giving this video tutorial without getting any um you know um just out of love i'm doing it if you feel my love please you know do the super thanks and super thanks kind of give me some kind of uh, uh benefits and contribution so thanks for watching until next time take care and bye now